and it's still Monday in the warehouse. I've already showed you what I've sold this weekend, so now I'm going to show you what I found. Not everything, because a lot of it's just some simple books and such to sell for five ten dollars, which is kind of boring for you. But I'm going to show you what I think is the most exciting finds, and I'll do that right after this. All right, I'm going to start off with some of the simple stuff. I'm always looking for mugs, you know that. You know, I still got plugs to list, but when I see something I want, I just can't resist buying a mug. So, I found two of these North Carolina State Wolfpack mugs. Still got a dollar price tag on them. Paid $2 for both of them. I um, should be able to sell each one for $10. So, pretty good, right? All right. You remember what I said about books? Always check the books, right? So I picked up a bunch of books this weekend, and they're not all high-ranking books. They're not going to sell, you know, like that, but they'll sell, and they'll sell for pretty good money. I sell both on Amazon and eBay, depending on which one will bring the most money and which one works the best. So I'll decide, but I looked these up, so I looked up these prices on Amazon, and I'm going to go with those prices. The first symbolism of the basically the order of the Eastern Star. It's a Masonic organization and this is a little simple paper hardback book. It's got a little writing in it but I know I can sell this book for $25. I paid a dollar for it. Mystical City of God. I'm trying to avoid that reflection. Um, paperback still. 50 cent on paperbacks usually what I pay. $15 every day. He came to set the captives free. It's not a high budget book, you know. I paid a quarter, quarter, fifty cents. They all sell it for five dollars, plus shipping. That's not a bad profit. Relatively speaking, on North Carolina McCullens, 1737 and 1997. First of all, this is a vintage book. It's a genealogy, family history book type book, and it probably had a limited run when they produced it. And I cannot find it on eBay in any sold. I still have to check Worth Point, but just on the sold part of eBay, I, I cannot find a, you know any copy of this. I looked on Amazon, and they have a copy, no picture with it, and it says out of print, limited availability. So when you click on the link, it has the book but there are no sellers for it. So once I list it, I will be the only seller. So you know what that means, don't you? You can set your price. You know, there could be someone looking for this book right now, and it's out of print, they want it, set a price for $100 on it, which I will do. You can always lower your price, right? So I'll set a price of $100 on it, and it'll sell. All right, we're still talking about books. Pioneer History of Dallas, Texas, Masonic Perspective. Always pick up Masonic books. They may not all be worth anything, but usually Masonic stuff will sell. I found a box of Masonic jewelry one time. The lady wanted $20, and she hated to ask for $20 for this box of Masonic jewelry. There was like four or five rings, a bunch of cufflinks, all with a little Masonic symbol, all made of, you know, 14 karat gold, you know, however many karat gold the rings were. And she hated to ask $20 for it. As soon as she named the price, I couldn't get that $20 bill out of my pocket fast enough. So, I sold the rings for like $150, $200 each. So, yeah. This particular book will sell for $50. Paid a dollar for it. Can't beat it. Another book. Simple little paperback book. Not a big deal. You would probably just pass it up if you didn't know to look. $20 online. We'll sell. <laughs> Harry Potter books. I went to a neighborhood sale this weekend. And it wasn't a great neighborhood sale, but there were, there were enough people participating. And then you spend you know, 30 minutes and you know, ride into the neighborhood finding stuff. And pulled by this house. It was closed up, the garage was shut. And out in front of the curb, were two baby strollers and what eventually turned out to be this. So I passed by and stopped. I said to myself, is that a set of books laying down on there? 
So I did the only logical thing. I threw the van in reverse and back right back up. And sure enough, saw that it was a set of Harry Potter books. So I get out and grab it. No one around. So I hate to just take it, even though when people put stuff on the curb, you know, you, you kind of know you can. But since there was a yard sale going on, and they just might have gone inside, but so I decided I was going to go knock on the door and say, hey, are these free? How much you want for it? Whatever. So I knocked on the door. No one ever came. So I put it in my van, and became, it became mine. It's not worth a whole lot. It's only worth like, believe it or not, it's only worth like $5. But I put it in their antique booth. I'll probably put $10 on it, and you know, that's pure $10 profit, right? Again, always check the books. And never be afraid to pick up something off the curb, right? Okay. Well, on the same vein of the books, you know, picked up a lot. Always look at the books. I mean, people don't look at the books. I always do. And I always find good stuff. All right. I found a set of these type of war books. It's like Halsey, Pearl Harbor, Midway, Nuremberg Trials. Yamashita, Bradley, Zukov, ah, falling down, Patton, and Eisenhower. There are nine of these books. I paid 50 cents a piece for them. You know, I looked them up online and they individually they don't sell very much, four or five dollars plus shipping. And well, 50 cents that still wouldn't be bad, but you bundle them all together. I know I'll get at least thirty dollars for it. So a thirty dollars, you know, price on four fifty. What I spent, yeah, good deal, right? I thought so too. So books, don't be afraid to look at books. I keep saying that, and I'm gonna drill it in your head eventually, right? Okay. All right. Picked up a DVD. People say DVDs don't sell. That is patently not true. DVDs still sell, and I'll preach that every day of the week too. DVD still sell. Not every DVD, obviously. You know, the run of the mill movie that you could rent, you know, or see on Hulu or Netflix, or whatever, won't sell. But always check the Disney DVDs. Now, some of them are so mass produced that they're not worth anything. And you can get them cheap, you can certainly bundle them. And parents will buy them. But certain DVDs, like this one, paid a dollar for it, you can see the price on it, it's worth $25. It'll sell fast. It's got a very high rank and will sell very fast for $25. $25 on a dollar spending on you know for it. Yep, good deal. To me this was kind of iffy. It's a Venapro electronic, you know, charge the batteries, leg compression. You put it on both your legs and you know it compresses, you know, if I guess for diabetics or whoever needs it. And test, the lady let me test it out in her garage. Well, I didn't put it on. But I plugged it in to make sure it actually worked. And it did. And she wanted $5 for it. It was the first yard sale of the day. And I hate passing up a first sale. Especially if I think I can make a little money on it. But I looked it up there. And I could see it was worth $20 or $25. Hoping it was more. But I got back home. Looked it up again. Sure enough, $20 on a $5 investment. Not too bad. I'll do that. Hope someone wants it. Okay. Last but certainly not least, went to another cell and he had lots of cool stuff out. He had Star Wars stuff, he had Star Trek stuff, and he had Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Not all in good shape, and I picked up a few things. I mean, I really don't need an R2D2 speaker for my car, and I think he might have a little too much money on it, but I mean, I would have taken it all if it was a good price, but. I was having to be very picky with my money yesterday, or Saturday rather, and so I had picked up a few books, then I saw this. Maybe you can see it, but this is collectible Titanic replica china. And I got 11 pieces. It's not a full set. I got a couple of these, a couple of big plates. So I got 11 pieces in all. He had a nice little stack, and he had a $5 price tag on it. So I says, is this $5 for all this, you know, Titanic China? I still didn't know how much it was worth, but for $5 for Titanic replica China, I mean, if you don't have $5 to spend on a hunch like that, you're probably in the wrong business. 
because that's what we do. Sometimes we go out on a limb, we speculate on what could be worth, sometimes, you know, most times we do really well, sometimes we don't, but that's the nature of the game. So I said, is that $5 for it all? He said, yeah, $5 for all of it. I said, cool, I'll take it. And I got home and looked it up, and the pieces run anywhere for $10 to $20 a piece, sometimes more. And there's all in very good shape. I can't find any nicks or cracks in it or anything. It looks very clean. So, you know, I could easily make $200 off this china set for a $5 investment. Tell me, that's not a good deal. All right, that's basically what I found this weekend. Like I said, I found some more things. I went to one cell and got a, a box of books for $5. And there's a couple of, you know, higher budget books and their higher dollar books that I'll sell and the rest of it's just yeah I just threw it in the box just to throw it in there to fill up the box you gotta get my money's worth right so I just threw it in there and I still had to go through those so that's another time but it's nowhere ex as exciting as my Titanic China so that's what I found this weekend it was a lot of fun stayed out you know half a day on Saturday went to three or four different cities and just cruised around and enjoyed myself and I always look forward to going to yard sales, even though it's getting like 95 to 100 degrees by 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Starting to get hot and people get tired of wanting, you know, put their stuff up and we'll give you good deals because they don't want to stay out in the sunny longer. So, that's my story for the weekend. Hope you enjoyed watching the video and please watch the previous video of what I sold this weekend. I'll put a link here or here somewhere. And until next time, we'll talk again.